after slogging for class 11 and 12, when you join an engineering college, it feels as if you can finally live your life. You're away from home, you can do whatever you feel like and you don't have to study anymore, isn't it? When I joined engineering, for most of my friends, it was also like that. But for me, my goal was different. I had joined engineering for a completely different purpose. And at the end of four years, I was able to make my vision a reality. I received an award for the best outgoing student from my department for academic excellence. I had received a gold medal for my engineering degree. How did I do it? Well, let's find out. I am Neha Grival. I am the founder of Wise Up Communications and in this video, I am going to share with you my undergrad journey and how I worked towards getting a gold medal. So, let's begin. The first ingredient was motivation. When I started my engineering preparation in class 11, like all engineering aspirants, even I wanted to study at an IIT. And I worked so hard for those two years so much that I don't think I even studied as much in my four years of engineering degree combined. But even after all that, I couldn't get a seat in the IIT. So, after weeks of crying, this is where I landed finally. And on that day, I made a promise to myself. Since I couldn't get admission in my dream college, I'm going to do everything I can to be the best here. So, one of the main reasons for me to get a gold medal in my undergrad was my motivation. When I couldn't get into an IIT, I felt like I had failed and I did not want to feel like that again. So I decided that my career is in my hands. If I can't be one of the students of those top universities, I'm going to be just as good as any of them. And that was my motivation to work hard for all those four years to achieve what I wanted. So if you want to excel at anything, be it your exams, sports or any hobby, Find a source of motivation. That motivation could be internal, like in my case, or external, where you are inspired by someone's journey and aspire to be like them. The second ingredient was interest. Let me share a little bit of a background here. For engineering colleges, you have to go for a counselling session where you choose your branch. Basically, which field you want to do your engineering in. When I went for my counselling session, even though I was getting branches like Triple E and Computer Science, I decided to go ahead with Chemical Engineering. And I still remember that day when I stood up and announced that I'm choosing Chemical Engineering. So many people gave me a very confused look as to why is this girl choosing this branch when she can get something so much better. Usually, people choose branches based on their ranks. So, if you have a better rank, you should go for branches like Computer Science and Electronics and Communication Engineering. And if you have a lower rank, then you choose branches like Chemical Engineering. But even as an 18-year-old, I was very clear what my interests are. Even though Chemical Engineering was much less popular, less respected and had less scope afterwards, I decided to go ahead with it. So, why am I sharing this story with you? The reason that I was able to get a gold medal in chemical engineering was because I loved it. Had I taken up electronics or computer science, I would have never been able to excel at it, no matter how much motivation I had. So, if you really want to excel at something, do something that you like, that you enjoy, and then hard work won't seem like hard work. It will become fun. And trust me, if you like something, no matter what it is, if you put your heart and soul into it, you will shine and build your career in it. The third ingredient was smart work. Even though my plus two preparation had all the hard work possible, the ingredient it was missing was smart work. So when I joined college, I spent the first two semesters observing and understanding everything. What are the kind of questions that get usually asked in the exam? How should you frame your answers to fetch more marks? Which subjects have more weightage than others, etc, etc. And I started working on all those things. But the most important thing was paying attention in class. And this is where most of my friends made a mistake. 
so whenever the professor was teaching they used to always goof around and not listen to them and as a result when sometimes the teachers used to tell us like which are some of the important things that can come in the exam they used to miss it out what happened in this process was that i had really good notes with all the key things highlighted which really helped during the exam preparation another thing i used to do is solve all the mathematical problems in the class itself instead of just copying it directly from the board so in such a case if i had a doubt i could always clear it in class rather than calling up friends and asking them how to solve that problem just before the exam so literally 50% of my work was done in the class itself and only 50% had to be done at home even at home i never took the shortcut to study at the last moment it never worked there are so many youtube videos online saying how to get 80% marks in 5 days or 75% score in 3 days well all of that is possible and if your aim is to get that much then i don't think this video is going to be useful to you but the moment you start aiming for 90% or 95% score that is where the game completely changes because the effort becomes exponentially high so what i used to do is spend one hour every day to study that's it and so even when the exams came i did not have to go crazy studying day and night so if you really want to excel at it studying at the last moment is not good enough hard work is also not enough and only smart work is the key and finally the last ingredient is consistency being the best at anything is not a 100 meter sprint it is a full marathon so if my hard work interest and motivation only lasted for a few months i would have scored well in probably one or two semesters but not more than that it was because of consistency that i was able to score well in all the eight semesters and finally achieve my dream of becoming a gold medalist so consistency is the one final ingredient that brings together all the other ingredients to prepare the perfect combination that can lead you to success in fact dwayne johnson the rock himself says success isn't always about greatness it's about consistency so be patient be consistent and success will come to you so guys this is a small part of my journey that i wanted to share with you if it helps you in any way be it finding your long lost motivation building your interest gearing up for smart work or just maintaining consistency i will feel like my job here is done thank you so much for always encouraging me through your likes and comments take care and wish you all the best for your career ahead